when the other kids used to go outside and play, I would try to do that. Then I come home and very sick and have to be back in the hospital. 17-year-old Alexandria Young of St. Louis, Missouri, has sickle cell anemia, among 72,000 Americans with the disease. Among all Americans, approximately 1 in 1,500 to 1 in 2,000 newborns will be diagnosed with sickle cell disease. In people with sickle cell disease, their red blood cells become deformed, turning sickle-shaped. The bone marrow tries to make more red cells to make up for the loss, but can't keep up, causing anemia. Their new shape keeps them from moving properly through the body, and the misshapen cells can jam up and stick to the walls of the blood vessels. These clumps cut off oxygen to healthy tissue, delaying a child's normal growth and causing fatigue and extreme pain. It's like, like a hammer being at you like, for a long time. I never heard anybody scream that high and just well out. And, and uh, we were like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And man, it, she would have it so bad where her eyes just roll back up, you know, just roll back. And, and you know, she's just in pain, just, just screaming, yelling. And we, we didn't know what to do. And I thought she was just talking in her sleep or, or something, but she had mentioned that she was ready to go home. And I said, Alexandria, you are home. We're home now. She said, no, Mommy, I want to go to heaven. That's my home. And uh, OK, deep breath. Dr. Michael Dubon has been Alexandria's hematologist since she was four years old. Any headaches? Double vision. Fatigue and pain are not the only issue in sickle cell disease. Essentially, every organ in the body can be damaged by the lack of oxygen. The kidneys, the heart, the eyes, and now we know even the brain. In addition to pain, probably the most feared complication is that of a stroke. And right here is her silent stroke. When Alexandria was 12 years old, a brain scan revealed that she had indeed had a stroke. I was very scared because I thought only older people would have a stroke and not 12 year old. Silent strokes like Alexandria's were not even recognized until a small research study in the 90s was conducted to better understand sickle cell disease in children. MRIs showed that strokes occurred when the misshapen cells got stuck in the brain and cut off oxygen to it. Certain locations of the brain control your movement. They control your motor ability, OK? There are other areas of the brain that if we removed it, it wouldn't alter your movement at all. It would alter your ability to think. The area of the brain in the frontal lobe is the area of the brain that's more likely to have silent strokes. So most of the children with silent strokes they're actually walking around, interacting with their family in a fashion that makes people think that, yeah, this child is doing well. Dr. Dubon has Alexandria on a research protocol, hoping to stop the strokes. Monthly blood transfusions, called apheresis, remove Alexandria's damaged red sickle cells and replace them with red blood cells from a healthy donor. The hope is that the healthy new red blood cells will prevent her from having future strokes. Dr. Dubon monitors Alexandria's condition closely, including annual brain scans to look for further damage. I pray constantly you know, about uh, Alexandria that she hasn't had another silent stroke. The young family won't know the results until their next visit to Dr. Debon. How are the clinic? Good, straight A's. Straight A's? Yes. Staying on this protocol, it, it has dramatically improved her classroom performance, dramatically just improved everything. Everything in her life is just completely turned around. Whew, it's just like 
like a switch, man. It just totally changed her. She started to grow. Uh, Congratulations. That's fantastic. Straight A's. How was the uh, test results? We had the MRI of her um, brain performed a couple of days ago. It's uh, to make sure that she hasn't had any new episodes of uh, silent uh, strokes. That's right. And the answer is no. There's been no evidence of progression. <laughs> so so uh, it's all done, and it's really good news, OK?